It is an issue that's been at the forefront of many public safety and politicians' minds nationwide. The human trafficking crisis is growing, and those involved are looking for a way to make it end. Justin Cree reports. We have a problem in the state. I think uh, in 2017, if my memory is correct, we had about 350 actual uh, you know, cases of human trafficking. 350 reasons intervention is important to stopping this growing problem in Michigan. With hundreds of calls to a national traffic hotline, the Great Lakes State has a great big trafficking problem, a problem that is well known for a number of reasons. In Michigan is a little bit unusual. We have the international border. We have, other than potholes, we have a pretty good, you know, transportation system. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, we have, you know, we're bordered. I think, you know, five different states. Matt Laurie is one of nine members that make up the Human Trafficking Advisory Board. A law passed in 2014 formed the group made up of nurses, members of law enforcement, even trafficking survivors. They meet monthly to discuss their main goal, which is educating Michiganders to find vulnerable victims. A lot of these people involved in human trafficking are not able to reach out themselves for help uh, because of the circumstances they're in. So it's incumbent upon us to train other people in the community to be able to see that and, and hopefully report it. State Senator Judy Emmons spearheaded the efforts to push human trafficking legislation through Lansing. The main goal was to change the statute of limitations. Now trafficking victims can go after their perpetrator up to 25 years after being trafficked, up from six years before the new law went into effect. Together, almost two dozen bills have been signed into law. Victims can now have past criminal convictions expunged from their record if the crime was committed while they were trafficked. Victims can now sue their perpetrator for mental and physical suffering, and all Johns must register on the sex offender registry if they are caught soliciting sex from a minor, something the senator wishes would have gone a step further. There's still the idea that um, somebody chooses to do this, and that's still a prevalent thought out there, and that they are an adult. What people don't realize is they start out as children, they're coerced into it as children, they're convinced that this is what they should be doing because their boyfriends convinced them of that, and they age into being an adult who is trafficked as well. Ah, we have work to do on that. The new laws also created the Human Trafficking Commission, a 13-member board, and unlike the Health Advisory Board, the commission is more state workers, including Circuit Court Judge Michelle Rick, and stationed in the Attorney General's office. With the main goal to supply the tools and resources that law enforcement and Michigan communities need to successfully fight human trafficking. It's up to local entities to take the tools that we provide them and to implement them. But I must say, this commission is very active and we have undertaken a lot of projects and we do see the fruits of our labor. There are more people being trafficked, more people in slavery today than at any other point in human history. This video is just one tool put out by the commission showing hospitals how to spot and take control if a human trafficking victim walks through their doors. Our state has a real human trafficking problem. But for Senator Emmons, she is not done fighting for the victims and fighting to end human trafficking here in Michigan. We have to convince our colleagues that this isn't a consensual relationship. This is not just because the person is an doesn't mean they aren't being misused and abused and they aren't a victim. So more convincing to do and more, you know, really just educating folks, not only in the legislature, but throughout society. And that was Justin Cree reporting. If you or anyone you know is being trafficked or could possibly be trafficked, please call the hotline number right there on your screen. Such an important issue that uh, we're hearing more and more about. It's happening, unfortunately, so it's good it to get is. that out. Yes, absolutely.